It's Trina here from Diamonds and Dust, and today I am going to show you how to make this super adorable diagonal split tumbler using one of my previous designer boxes. If you would like more information on those, I release them monthly in my Diamonds and Dust Facebook group. And if you like this tutorial, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And if you try any of these techniques, make sure you give me a tag so I can see your beautiful work as well. Let's get started on the tutorial. Today we will be working with July's designer box. It came with this cute backpack pattern vinyl and a flower vinyl that matches along with three custom mixed glitters. I am starting off with my tumbler and I'm just going to eyeball about half making marks on the top and bottom rim. I then am going to take some half inch tape and align it with one of the marks on the top. And then we are going to wrap this tape around diagonally and find one of the bottom marks and match that up as well. Now you should have one piece of tape going around your cup diagonally, only on half of the tumbler. And then you are going to take two more pieces of tape and place one piece of tape to the right of that, that first piece and then to the left. Now we are going to do the same thing to the other side with the same half markings, starting by finding the last one on the tumbler and then angling it down to the bottom mark and then placing a piece of tape as close as you can side on each side of that first piece of tape. Now we are going to take our first pattern and just place it where we have our tape. And I am just going to wrap it around, making sure the pattern fully covers the stainless steel where we taped off. And then I just took my nail and made an indent on the pattern vinyl and then cut off the excess. Now I am going to take that sheet that we cut and fold back about an inch of the vinyl backing and apply it to the tumbler. Just make sure that the pattern is covering the stainless steel completely on one side. Now you will be able to see your swirl where we taped off before. It will be a little bit raised. So I am going to take another piece of tape and just follow where we taped before where you can see it underneath the vinyl and then take my X-Acto knife and follow that tape line really closely and cut off that excess vinyl. Now that you have cut that full section, you can remove that piece of vinyl and get it out of the way. And then we are going to go to the other side of our tape and cut off the excess there as well. I decided I could see it raised enough to follow that raised line instead of taping it off. So you just do whatever is easiest for you. Thank you. 
Now you will have some extra hanging over the top and bottom rim. You can just take your X-Acto knife and cut those both off. We are going to do the same thing on the other side with the backpack vinyl. I once again am just lining, up, lining it up tape to tape, making sure the pattern covers the stainless steel, marking it with my fingernail, trimming off the excess applying it as we did on the other side and then just cutting off the excess following those tape lines. Now I'm just going to take my trimmer and go around the bottom cutting off the extra tape and vinyl leaving a really clean crisp line. Now we are going to remove the first piece of tape on both sides of our tumbler and then take some really dark kind of teal paint and mix that in with some glitter glue and then we are going to be painting that on that section and taking our glitter color called determination and it is a really cool fine mix it's like teal a really dark teal and forest green had a baby and it's just such a beautiful color we are going to sprinkle that on those sections that we have just applied the glitter glue and paint mixture Now we are going to remove that middle piece of tape and use the glitter color Passion. And Passion is mostly an opaque glitter, but it does have a little bit of translucent glitter in there as well. So I'm going to base paint this section first with a light pink chalk paint. You can use acrylic paint if you would like, and I'm going to do that on both sides. Once that is dry, I'm going to take that same light pink paint, mix in a little bit of glitter glue, apply it to that pink section we have already painted, and then while that is wet, sprinkle on the glitter color Passion. Working with glitter glue and a chunky glitter can be a little bit more challenging than a fine glitter. So I will just tell you my tips. When I base paint this with the glitter glue and paint mixture, I'm just laying it on a little bit thicker or heavier than I would with a fine glitter. And then when I sprinkle on the glitter, if any of those chunks are poking up, you're just gonna wanna lightly take your finger and tap them down. We now are going to remove our final piece of tape and take a light mint and we are also going to base paint this section as well. Our final color is absolutely one of my new favorites. It's called Encouragement and it is the most beautiful kind of minty Tiffany blue I have ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> you guys totally need this color. It's so freaking gorgeous. You'll see here in just a minute when I apply it, but we are going to do the same thing. Base paint, let that dry, mix in some glitter glue and paint, and then apply our glitter. Thank you. 
I made this exact same tumbler live in my Diamonds and Dust Facebook group and I let them vote on what color glitter we should put on the bottom and of course they all chose encouragement because it is just that gorgeous. So you are going to do the same thing as we did with the stripes base paint your bottom let that dry then apply your glitter glue and paint mixture and apply the glitter to the bottom now i'm just going to take a dry brush and get off as much of that list loose glitter as i can on the vinyl sections and then we are going to let that dry and then spray seal those glitter sections really well i like to use rust-oleum or krylon's triple thick when that triple thick is all dry we are going to apply a layer of epoxy to our tumbler once your epoxy is dry, you're going to either cut some stripes out of a vinyl that coordinates on your silhouette or Cricut, or you can use a nail striping tape like I did here. I've had this one for a while and it was a really cute kind of iridescent green I thought would be perfect. So we are gonna go and make sure those glitter lines look nice and crisp by covering up any mistakes that may have appeared and just apply that in between each glitter line. Now I am going to apply my decal and my decal I just put on one side of the tumbler following the diagonal going downwards. And if you decide not to do a decal like this and your decal is covering those stripes, you're going to want to add a layer of epoxy first before your decal or you will be able to see those stripes underneath and it will kind of make your decal raised and it just doesn't look as good so here on mine you could not see that i overlapped the striping tape and the y so that's why i did not add an extra layer of epoxy in between now you can add your final layers of epoxy until your tumbler is smooth. Thank you. 